The faith, grace, love connection is righteousness. Well, good morning, everybody. It's Monday. Wow. It is already the 6th of August. Can you imagine? I mean, we are heading now what's coming up next month. Rosh Hashanah, the Feast of Trumpets, the last Trump. Be ready for the rapture, my friends. Be seeking Jesus. Repent. Turn away from the world. Turn to the King and His Kingdom. That's just on my heart. So the last couple weeks, like I said, we've, we've been coming off um, my revelation of my life, coming into my, you know, coming out of the, of the 40th year. It's 40 years since I got born again, supernaturally. And we covered that. Go back and, and listen to that. Jesus Christ, the Lord and King, standing in my room, bringing me into salvation, bringing me into the kingdom, that I am now one with Him, one with the Father, the Son, Holy Spirit, filled with the Holy Ghost, praying in tongues. Tongues is real. It, it really is. I, I cannot just tell you that. It, I mean, with my experiences, I can just tell you uh, God is real, Jesus is real, Holy Spirit is real, praying in praying tongues, and uh, uh, it's real. This is just the beginning of eternity. This is the shortest thing you're ever going to do in eternity. And this is the time of decision. All right. So we've been doing the significant numbers of my life. Because I thought, hey, you know what? Since, since I've gone through this, I'm going, I'm coming out of the wilderness and into the promised land. And the time of probation, you know, I've been through a lot. But I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot about faith. And it's... Faith in your covenant with God that's going to take you and, 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 and grace you and empower you to go into the promised land that He has promised you. That's good in itself because I don't have a lot. I'm going to just summate some things here. So there's the teaching you need for today. But let's look at this, all right? So we covered. We covered the number. We covered my birthday, which was 5, 16, 62. We're doing 62 this week. So we did number 5, which is grace. Uh, and then we did uh, 16, which we covered the numbers 8, 2, and 16 in that. And now we're going to cover the number 62. At first glance, when you look at the number 62, you, and you, don't, you can't go through Troy Brewer's book and, and see the number 62. You can't go through E.W. Bollinger's book and see the number 62. But E.W. Bollinger teaches us, hey, look at the gem, Gematria. Look at the, 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 the gem of the number. What, what, are, what, are, what does, is that number composed of? And so what we see with the number 62 its composition, we can just look at 6 and 2 equals 8, and we covered 8 as new beginnings, but we also cover, we also see the, the, the makeup of this number as 2 times 31. Now 31 is a prime number, and we're going to get into that later in the week, but we're going to look at the fact that, that right now we're setting up for this week 2 and 31 Jesus, uh, the two is the number of Jesus, and two is the number of the faithful witness, the faithful witness of Jesus. We go out two by two as a faithful witness of Jesus, and then he and the Holy Spirit is the, what, faithful witness of the Word, who is Jesus. Okay? So this week we're going to go, we're going to find out all about the number 31, and how it represents the number six, uh, 62, and how it relates to number 62. Tomorrow, we're going to start to explore the number 31 and I'm going to give you a little inkling the number 31 is the number of God I love you God bless you and we'll see you next time